all right hello everyone so today we're going to be playing carbon steel and like always a small introduction to the game carbon steel is an experimental puzzle horror game where you conduct unethical research in a hastily rebuilt laboratory work out how to operate miscellaneous machines cross-check data tables and procure general anesthesia the difference between life and death can be any overlooked detail okay and it says like a playthrough is 15 to 20 minutes but knowing me it probably might take an hour <laughs> um over 10 pieces of separate equipment personal apple lisa 2 computer interesting handcrafted environments multiple endings and then for the story it says looking to earn some quick cash you sign up to work for a private research organization three days of work for a year's worth of money Upon arrival though, you realize it's not exactly a walk in the park. Even in this underground haven of research where ethical guidelines do not exist, you've been assigned a task that no one else would dare to attempt. Organisms would be raised from immeasurable depths. Their muffled screams would echo off the reinforced walls. The only thing standing between them and you is a steel vessel designed by long dead engineers. There's a reason this laboratory was only used one. Its reopening would go against all moral principles. Interesting. Okay. All right, let's see what carbon steel is about. Shuttle four. Passport. Shuttle 8. You. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Papers, please. Oh, this is so creepy. Shuttle 1. Okay, the music's pretty nice. Kind of gives them like that eerie but also calming uh, atmosphere. Is this my stop? Can I take a look at him? Oh no, you can't. Damn. Wanted to know what he looks like. Interesting. I think I can go there. Yeah. Okay, desk file print edit format customize. So, email. Greetings from the research team. You will be carrying out the main sample pull from the pit, which hosts a multitude of pressure treated organisms. After the pull is successfully completed, you will hand the data over to the team. As we discussed, this job will take a total of three days. We are still in the middle of setting up some of the equipment. Please enter your holding cell. Uh, 52? Okay. Oh. Is this where I'm gonna- Is that seriously my toilet? Oh, this is so weird. I don't know about you, but I don't- I hope I have my tetanus shot, so uh... That's all I am worried about right now. Uh, what was that? Was I dreaming of the outside? Ooh. Uh, carrier vessel console, no life form detected, controls unlocked. Hold main lever to initiate ascent. 
So, what am I supposed to do? Eat pee. Uh, good morning. We are ready to begin. Raise the lifeform vessel with the main control lever. It will automatically surface. Okay, so... Hold. Raise lifeform vessel. So, how do we do that? Is it with this? Oh, oh, okay. Outdated firmware. What? Class alpha. Subclass. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing things. Okay, I'm assuming that's just gonna go up, alright? So, you will find blank data cells in the canis canister rack, along with empty Anastasia cancer. Canisters? Oh my gosh, I can't pronounce things. The lifeform must be unconscious for the duration of the data pool. Procure the correct mixture using the subclass weight data tables. Empty canister, where would that be? Answer the canister. Oh, it's these, right? Um, and then we need one right here, right? Um... Wait, no. Wait. Hello? How do I... Armed? Start? Alpha class. So this one is an alpha class. So disc. Oh, whoa. Okay, so we need to figure out what the weight is for it. Um, God, I think I might need a piece of paper. Okay, I am back. So I just had to get some paper. So, uh, subclass, threat level is one, dump weight is 159 so i think that's we what we need oh it's right here wow okay i didn't even have to go over there okay so 159 so nitrous so and then iso and then seven so nitrous would be 96 so is two and two Okay. Four, five, six, okay. And then two on each. So one, two, one, two, and then we're good. Okay, okay, and then where do we put this? gonna click it randomly no is it there is it in here arm oh okay so what does that do exactly so what do I need to do right here um Okay, let me look back. One eternity later. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Okay, this has like some kind of pod inside. Hold on. Okay. What? What is that doing? Oh, what is that? Okay, do I put it here? Oh, okay. That's... Okay, what, 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 what do I do once it's, it's in here? Oh. Okay. That's not bad. So all I really got to do is just... Grab a canister. Anastasia can canister um put the right mixture in put it in the thing um so it can calm down the thing or whatever it is and then grab the other one okay doesn't seem too bad oh what the fuck is 
that? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> okay, that was just a dream. Oh, okay. So, new email. Good work. Your work yesterday was excellent. The data you pulled far exceeded our expectations, especially considering the fact that this laboratory hasn't been in use for decades. The engineers have finished getting up the old surface analyzer. You can use it to pinpoint exact data class measurements from otherwise unknown life forms. This will aid us in gathering even better data. If your work continues at this pace, then we have a we have big plans for you. Good question. What are they using all of this data for? Oh, did it? Okay, cool. Okay, so we don't know the class or the subclass, so that's a good question. How would we know what class it is? Inserts. Hold on. <laughs> There's a floppy disk here. Let me see what it says. Um, what's in the disk? Read me text. Read carefully. The contents of this disk will be erased once ejected. We haven't met, but I'm the engineer. I overheard a conversation from the researchers. You're in trouble. I'm working on getting you out. I've taken one of the data cells. You'll find it tomorrow marked with an X. Give it to the researchers once you're done. I won't hang around for long. It's either tomorrow or never. See you soon. So... Okay. Wow. I really like this because it's so interactive with everything. Whoa, what is that? Active layer. Potential life form subclass and subclasses. So, oh, oh, okay, that's so cool. I, I don't like the sounds it's making. Okay, and then the third layer. Okay, so it's a Charlie subclass one. Alright, cool. That's pretty simple enough. Okay, so which one's the Charlie one? That's Delta. This one. Okay. So, what's the weight again? Weight is 108. So, 108. Okay, so 108. So, it's gonna be 4 nitrous, 1 iso, and 95 subo. Okay, so just to make sure it's a Charlie subclass 1. Alright, seems like we're getting there. Okay, so for the several, it's gonna be 95. Four, five, okay. For the ISO, it's one. And then for the nitrous, it's four. Two, three, four. Alright, let me double check. Cause I, I want to make sure I get this correct. I don't know what happens if you get it incorrect. So it was 108, yeah. Okay, in between there for 195. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's plug this bad boy in. Alright, let's pull you in. Grab you. And, uh... Oh!
Okay, cool. And I assume the way that we check if we did it correctly is that we don't hear anything anymore. So... Let's see what we get. Alright. That's our second sample. We're ready to go? Yep. And sleep. Oh, is it gonna be another nightmare? No, it's not, okay. Alright, what's the next one? Final poll. Once again, the data you provided is ex excellent. Well done. We are now ready to begin the final poll. The vessel has been honed to far lower depths than earlier, meaning that this organism will be exceptionally violent. Use your newly equipped fabricator to repair the exterior of the carrier vessel. Prevent it from breaking through. Tomorrow is a very big day. Get some rest once you're finished. <laughs> oh no. Fucking hell. <gasps> okay, this one's marked with an X. Okay, uh, I'll leave it in the middle. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, first let me... Start... So, fabricator means this thing. Oh, fuck. Prevent it from breaking through. I don't like that shit. Fuck. Okay, we need to act quick on this. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, let's have everything ready. Uh, vessel condition. Fuck. Let's uh, let's have everything uh, open just so it's easier for me to get things done quick. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay, of course we don't know what it is, so it's uh, it's 180. Where's the scanner? No, nope. Got the scanner. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Alright. Okay, it says 70 already. Br this fuck fuck does it charge does it charge okay yeah it does it does okay cool all right um fuck all right all right all right all right come on come on come on come on the music fuck oh fuck it's at 72 all right let's just keep on uh drilling it or repairing it or whatever this is all right just go Okay, this is somewhat giving me a bit of an adrenaline kick. Because <laughs> we really don't know what's in there. Like, it could be anything. Okay, so it's uh, Alpha Subclass 2. Alright. Oh my gosh, it's 95 already. Shit. I mean, 50%. Fuck. subclass 2 so i think it's this one yeah this alpha so it's 108 180 so it's gonna be 100 zero, zero. so 100 nitrous 100 nitrous okay this might take a while wait no it, it's subclass 2 hold on fuck hold on it's subclass 2, subclass 2. Fuck, almost fucked that up. Uh, Alright, it's 50, 43, and 7. Okay, okay. Alright, let me repair that really quick. It's 100%. Alright, so 50. Okay, we're really close. 50. Uh, 707. 4, 5, 6, 7. 
and then ISO it's 43. 48 for 9, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Right. Oh, it's at 60%. Okay. I kind of want to figure out what happens if you don't repair it and like what comes out of what comes out of it. Okay, so this one's good. All right. Hopefully that's the correct one. Does it stop? Okay, yeah, it stops. Okay, cool. Alright, let's get them one marked with X. Ooh, okay. Ooh, spooky, spooky. Wait, what if the one marked with an X means that like the monster gets out or something. It's the noise. It was fucking correct. Do we literally set it up for the monster to escape? Wait, no, what? What the heck happened? Um, where are we going? I, I thought the exit was back there. Okay. So, was that the good ending or was that the bad ending? I'm so confused. I kind of just want to play it towards the end and see what happens once the condition of the vessel goes to zero. Maybe I should try that out. Or better yet, what happens when you give them the canister without the X? I hope that they have it where you can go back to a certain level, but let's see. I kind of like how the monster in there is like beating to the beat of the atmosphere. It's kind of pretty interesting, but we're at 70% and we just need a bit more to go. Okay, it's at zero. Wait, huh? So, Interesting, so I, I guess it was like a dream <laughs> um, Okay, all right, let's see what happens if we give them the canister without the X on it All right, so I managed to get the one without the marked X. So let's see what happened Okay, so my room opens and Do I go to sleep normally? Do we get another goodbye? We just finished reviewing the final data pool. Indeed, your work has proven to us that the risk is justified by the benefits. Excellent work. However, compared to ourselves, the life forms we have previously studied are significantly less advanced. We believe that a human body would yield far more interesting results. You will have the honor of being the first pressure treated. So, we- I, I'm assuming that's the bad ending? Uh, what did 
they do to me? Oh no, now we're being tested on. Wait, what if inside the vessel is not actual monsters, but like actual people? Oh fuck. But yeah, uh, I think we got all of the endings. Uh, one of them is where we ended up giving them the canister with the oops and then somehow made the monster escape and we escaped ourselves. The second ending was where we uh, essentially just let the condition of the vessel go to zero and the monster escaped and then the third one is where we gave them the canister without the X um, and we ended up becoming uh, the test subject. They put us in the vessel and uh, they uh, tested on this. But either way, that was carbon steel.